Right, well, this is a first. Um, starting an episode halfway through a bloody conversation. But I thought, oh, let's go and have a little chat with Garrus. You know, maybe he's wanting to do some calibrating. Um, and, yeah, he started speaking about cross-species intercourse, which, you know, really gets Shepard's gears going. And, yeah, I kind of felt like I had to to record this conversation because we're kind of going there with the Garrus romance. So, yeah, here we go. I want something closer to home. I want you. I want someone I can trust. I can do that. I'll find some music and do some research to figure out how this thing should work. It'll either be a night to treasure or a horrible interspecies awkwardness thing. In which case, fighting the collectors will be a welcome distraction, so, you know, a win either way. You know, Garrus, if you're not comfortable with this, it's okay. I'm not trying to pressure you. Shepard, you're about the only friend I've got left in Don't this Don't fucking friend zone, eh? I'm not gonna pretend I've got a fetish for humans. But this isn't about that. This is about us. You don't ever have to worry about making me uncomfortable. Nervous, yes. But never uncomfortable. So when should I book the room? I'd wait, if you're okay with it. Disrupt the crew as little as possible, and take that last chance to find some calm... Just well, it worked with story. Liara. You know me, I always like to savor the last shot before popping the heat sink. <laughs> Wait. That metaphor just went somewhere horrible. <laughs> I'll let you get back to work. Why have I never done this romance before? To optimize firing algorithms right now. Why have I... Oh, it's so fucking good. Right, okay. So, slightly different start to the episode there. Um... Hi. So, we're off to go and do, um... Jacob's loyalty mission. Jesus Christ, that metaphor. Um... Yeah, so... Um... I didn't even get a chance to implement my bloody upgrades. I was just like, oh, let's just go and see how Garrus is doing. He probably doesn't want to chat. And then... That. Yeah. Okay, so... Um... Yeah, wow. Uh, so... Jacob's loyalty mission. Yeah, that's, that's the aim today. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I like messages. Right. Back from female camp. Erd not dog. Oh, this is the, um, scout guy that we did the fucking military ura pep talk thing to. Basically, he's, he's got his dick wet. So, wonderful. Brilliant. That's good for you, mate. Um... What are we doing? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Help Jacob. Up all the way up here. Wow, really on the edge of the galaxy. That's pretty much as far away from the Milky Way... Uh, the Milky Way. From the solar system as you can get. So... Mosey on up here. Come on. Bloody stalled. Someone have a chat with Joker. Um... Normally by this point I have explored a hell of a lot more of the galaxy and yeah uh been a bit lazy on as a mere I might as well um The thing that annoys me Scans is that that was spe spiking really high in the ESO bit, uh, and we don't get any ESO for that. That probe, it's just like, oh, there's an anomaly. What do you mean you want resources? Uh, so yeah, um, we don't get nothing for that. It's just a waste of a probe. Oh yeah, uh, let's 
Hey, look, we can put some clothes on Jack. Jesus. Right, let's do that then. Um. Uh. So he's a biotic. Who are we facing? Let's take Morden, because we do have to deal with mechs. And incinerate will be useful. Uh, Jacob, have we used Jacob since the pretty much the first mission? No, we haven't. Uh, specialist Taylor, yeah, that'll do. And he can get that. So, oh, okay, so he can, we can basically get um, a heavy pull or pull field, so we can get a little uh, see as to what upgrading pull will be like. So yeah, slightly different change of scenery from what we're used to. It's actually an incredibly beautiful planet. But with a dark secret. Useful technology sounds there good. It is, and mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. <laughs> Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Along with us anymore. We've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It, it, it's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as it is. Well, that doesn't sound Repeat. Toxology terrible. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local floor we will have a little chat with you in a minute, but first of all, let's actually go and check out the ship. This feels very much, um, if we played Knights of the Old Republic, this is very much like Ricarta Prime, with the crashed ship and the beach and... yeah. Okay, so it seems that the crew went a bit rapey. Okay, so previous captain seems to have kicked the bucket. There's one more up here. What? What was her name? Sarah? S Suzanne? My God, I can't remember. I can't remember her face. We need to get out. So I can remember. C can think straight. They have to hurry. So it seems though everybody loses their memory. Which... Isn't good. Repeat. Toxology alert. Obviously. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, two hundred thirty-seven days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues: unsafe deceleration. Local food and neural decay. Beacon activation protocols. Who is in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted in field to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. 
Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Come on, let's get going. Our father had a working beacon, but didn't signal for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. Shouldn't eat local flora. Probably had no choice. Inevitable after that long. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Who are you? What was your rank on the Gurn's back? Uh, I, I, I can't think. The leader thinks for us, and, and we serve, so, so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were cast out. He exiled them, so they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Watch out! Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! We've been spotted. Oh! It's like, whoa, bitch. Ain't done nothing yet. Alright, okay, so we're getting a little bit too... Carried away with the uh neutralize. No bit too carried away with the uh shooting there. Mental instability. My father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. Yeah, I don't think your father's the man that you think he is, Jacob. I have to say. Strip for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Is that a settlement? They'd better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Yeah, answers would be good. Clearly docile. Same uniform remnants as those who attacked, however. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently? Makes males get violent. Previous females said hunters were exiled. Behavioral or gender driven. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To decay. You are cursed with his face. You certainly seem to have a way with words. You heard her. I have his face. My father forced the crew to eat toxic food. What the hell? Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. Not the intention. What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. He keeps us, protects us, and we please him like he demands. He keeps us. He is bad. 
He has a bad face like the other. Like him. You'll hurt me. <sighs> this is... I mean, this does seem like it's... Well, it is. doesn't even seem like it is a, a harem. Harem? Harem? I don't know. A not good thing. Your captain commands are forbidden. Not familiar with a protocol that condones crew suppression via lethal force. Well, that would make them hate him. Maybe it was just for defense. I think you're trying to find rationalization here. You could end it where there is none. You have his face, but you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read, but this was the start. What he promised, and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Think on your own time. What's in there? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. The beacon was fixed after a year, so the plan must have worked. Why no signal? Those weren't the last entries on the casualty list. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle. Toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Does it say why he separated the men and women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. It's looking like he only activated the beacon because the men have come back ready to fight. He let this happen, and now it's biting him in the ass. Nine years. Why didn't he set it right? I need to find this man. Uh, yeah. It doesn't seem overly defensible. Like, it's just basically like they've decided to turn the women into sex slaves and had no repercussion to that decision or yeah just old dead left posed positioned possibly a warning recent corpses left where they fell the hunters started fighting back firing get ready to fight collision <laughs> He had plenty of choices. Too late to blame his victims. Okay. What do we have to do with ammo? Okay. Ammo is good. Oh shit. Engaged. 
Enemies inbound. Got him. This might be useful. Um. So yeah, whilst I'm moseying through this uh, place, um, what, I'm just wondering what I could do as like a another series. I'm like I say, I think Football Manager's really taken my fancy this year. I didn't particularly like FM16, but FM17, though largely the same, just seems to be a bit more. I don't know. There's something more to it. He had his fun, and now he wants out. Enjoy. I really like wide shotgun. Because do you see what I mean about like the length really isn't that much of an issue. Throwing people away. This thing is not my father. Afraid to say he is. Combat drones. Get ready to fight. I've got him. Right, he is your dad. You may not like it, but he is your dad. Not difficult. Ooh. Oh great, a bloody man. Armor defense is offline. Uh where is incinerate? There it is. I was standing down with shit 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 shit. That was close. <clears throat> Too close for comfort. That's a good shot firing from the hip there. I need to look my father in the eye and hear him justify this. You know how I said about how I think this mission is kind of like the same length as Miranda's? May have been wrong. Where was that PDA? There it is. There's element zero around here somewhere. There it is. Hokey dokey. There he is. There's the fucking piece of shit. Damn it. I've never tried that. Can you imagine if it did actually You're fucking here. kill him? I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've got to have some back pay coming. Hopefully that back pay can pay for a good captain. lawyer. Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do. You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you are acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance, like an instinct. Pure authority was easy at first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial, 
rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. Yeah, quote, End of the quote day, accident. I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. I'm sure you would. It's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. There's no way I'm letting this slide, Taylor. A price will be paid. How much? What kind of math can balance these lives? His life isn't worth pulling the damn trigger. I don't know who you are. Because you're not any father I remember. Maybe we go arrange pickup for the rest of the survivors while the acting captain deals with the hole we punched through his max. Now wait, I'm supposed to get rescued. The crazy ones, you don't know what they'll do to me. I've got a fair I'm idea. True. Intention's easy to predict, just don't care. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. My father was a different man, Shepard. A good man. Wish I'd found him. Jacob! You are a better man dead. As far as I'm concerned, you still are. Jacob! See ya, prick. Feels good. Right. Uh, mission summary. Oh, we didn't get a new level. That's annoying. Uh, 30,000 credits. Thank you very much. That'll do. We can get some more upgrades. Yay! Right, so that's Jacob's loyalty mission done. Uh, we should probably go and... Alliance ships are inbound to pick up survivors, Commander. We can be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give them the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Really? Because given the result, it feels like something you'd have your hands in. You know very little about me, Shepard. Don't presume to understand my intentions. Cerberus is ultimately about humanity. My people are valuable to me. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You had no idea Miranda was behind this. No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. 
Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor's body has some catching up to do, but the man died a long time ago. I've already dealt with that. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. Come on, we got work to do. Aye, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. Okay. Only plus two? We left a man to die. Oh well. Anyway. Um. Right. Review. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Right. Okie dokie. So. Next loyalty mission, I think we will. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Oh look, yay, more messages. Um, okay. I don't know if I think that's spam, but maybe not. I don't know. Um, and the elusive man there covering his back. So, um, yeah, next mission thing, them things, what we do. I think we will do Thanes. That seems good. Thanes is a good one. And that one is quite long, I think. Maybe. Um, yeah, that's quite a long one, so we'll, we'll definitely, I think we'll definitely do that one next. It's a good one, but it's quite a long one. So, yeah, um, this has been shorter than I expected. Uh, my memory is clearly not as good as I thought it was. So, if you've enjoyed this episode, then good, thank you. Here we go. Like, comment, subscribe. There we go. Yeah. Oh God, I feel cheap. Um, and yeah, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Jace Curtis. There's a link in the about thing. Um, and yeah, I will see you for the next episode where we deal with things problematic child. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time.